Morning guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel. So, come to a brand new woodland today. Uh, never been here before, so really, really pumped. And uh, essentially, this morning is gonna be a bit of a, a scouting mission, but also, you know, hopeful of capturing an image as well because the conditions are fantastic right now. Um, just got the sun coming up just after sunrise. Got this low lying fog, which is absolutely amazing. But um, because this is a, a new woodland to me and I, I don't know the area at all, um, I thought it'd be great to show you a bit of my process in terms of how I go about um, finding an image and also, you know, pre visualizing that image and then hopefully taking it. So this. Uh, this vlog might be a little bit rough around the edges, but I'm hopeful that I'll be able to, you know, show you my whole thought process from actually finding something to, uh, yeah, compose it into a shot. So I'm going to wander up here, see if I can find anything. So this woodland is mainly uh, Cecil and English oak, some sycamore too, um, some lowland birch as well. So I'm really hopeful. The light's amazing right now, and actually there's a an whole dead oak here, which looks fantastic and probably could be actually the first uh, composition that we look at so let me just wander up here a little bit this looks amazing guys really really good let me just see if i can show you behind me uh you might just be able to see it in the background there if i tilt the camera up so that is probably going to be my first subject because the light's so good now i'm thinking that i'm not going to hang about too much i'm going to crack on and try and make an image work here before the sun comes up because it's a it looks like it's a blue sky day even though it actually wasn't forecast to be so um yeah i'm pretty sure this is going to be my first shot and literally i've only walked about 100 yards from the car so that's a fantastic start so yes let me put my bag down and we'll get sorted So as I mentioned in last week's video, um, seven steps to make woodland photography easier, um, I use a Magic Universal Viewfinder app to help me compose my image before I get my camera out. And that just saves me a bit of time. I pretty much know now what focal length I need and where I need to stand before I get the camera out of the bag. So um, I've, looked at the, uh, I've looked at my phone and I think around about 20, three to 25 millimeters is gonna work quite well. So I know I know which lens to put on before I even get the camera out of the bag, so that's really cool. I'm roughly where I'm gonna stand. So my next step is to get the camera out and then just wander around from left to right a little bit and just to you know fine tune the composition before I put the camera on the tripod. So if I put the camera on the tripod straight away, obviously it's gonna restrict uh, my movement. So I like to be able to really fine tune where I'm gonna position the tripod um, just by you know moving around handheld, maybe take a few test shots just to see how things are framing up before I lock everything down. So that's my next step, guys. So as you can see here, I've got the oak tree, the dead oak tree there. I'm going to position that on the left-hand third of my composition, something like that. But I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit more. Let's see if I can zoom in and show you my thought process. So somewhere about there, I would have thought. So maybe just move over a little bit this way. Eliminates that branch on the left-hand side in the top left-hand corner. And maybe something like that, where I've got the dead oak tree on the left third. And those are the trees there in the background. And that's see that branch on the top right hand uh, corner there that's just creeping in and filling the frame pointing your eye back down towards the trees that's creating some natural framing now the trouble is uh, trying to show you uh, with the video side of things because this is cropped in because it's 4k the it looks slightly different how it'll look on the back of the camera when i'm composing a photograph so but uh, this is roughly my composition just a case of moving left and right see how the subtle movements from left to right can really bring in different distractions within the scene so just trying to move subtly between i mean i'm only moving maybe several inches here from left to right as you can see it really makes a dramatic impact on the different elements within the scene so yeah i'm, I'm really thinking somewhere about here um, just to allow us to see that fallen log in the foreground the main subject 
and then that branch in the top right hand corner sending the viewer back over so it's creating a bit of framing so that's my initial thought process with this image just a case now of getting the uh, camera on the tripod and getting it set up so to compose this shot is pretty straightforward actually it didn't take me too much time which is I'm quite thankful of that because I don't think I've got too much to be honest this uh, fog can dissipate quite quickly so essentially what we've got in terms of the composition we've got this oak tree that's fallen that's it's been down here on the floor for quite some time now and it's covered in these dying ferns which is really really nice we've got the dead oak which sits on the left third and then in the background there we've got two more trees which make up a set of three essentially so threes always work well in terms of composition so that's quite good so i've got some reaching branches coming over in the top right hand corner which is just framing the top right hand side because there's quite a big vacant area of blue sky up there and i'm just allowing a little bit of space around the top of this dead oak just to make sure it's uh, got space to breathe within the frame so um, i've got yeah i've got this lots of natural framing actually and that's something i always try to look for when i'm out in the woodland it's all about the mist and there's some warm hues actually in the sky as well from the rising sun that's happening just behind me i think <laughs> hard to tell but yeah histograms looking pretty uh, pretty good at the minute that's great we're at f8 25th of a second there's no wind or anything like that so we don't really need to worry about the shutter speed when we've got the camera locked down on the tripod um, the two second timer is on as always just to make sure i don't get any camera shake because i'm at such a slow shutter speed iso is always going to be at its lowest um, i've taken a couple of test shots and normally what i do before i take my main shot is uh, just put my hand in front of the camera just like that so i know that's the end of my test shots and now i can go ahead and take my main shot and actually just because that light's changing and the, and the sun's coming up um, my highlights are blowing out a little bit so i'm gonna just quicken my shutter speed up to a 30th of a second and I'm, i really want to go ahead actually and take this image now the sun's just catching the branches of the trees behind as well which is quite nice yeah it looks good so when i've taken the image i tend to zoom into it and have a little look round to see if i've you know missed anything around the edges that's one of the things that i often overlook if i'm not careful is you know distractions creeping in from the edge of the frame so i always have a little look around to make sure nothing's obvious nothing's staring me in the face i mean it's very very dark but it's moody and that's the that's the what we're trying to go for here that mood of the woodland so yeah absolutely beautiful great start actually and uh, I'm hopeful I can find something else very quickly now if I was going to be critical I do have um, a bit of a log if you like creeping into the right hand side um, which I may or may not have to remove later but actually because it's pointing back towards the dead oak I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem because it's pointing you back towards the main subject so that's always something I look for when I'm trying to compose an image as well you know if there's a distraction that's pointing out of the image then obviously you know it's leading the eye out of the scene and you know perhaps that's not adding to the scene so but this actually points back in towards the dead oak that we've got there so yeah that is a pretty good start guys These types of videos are actually not that easy to make when you're trying to, uh, you know, walk through every single step from, you know, pre-visualising the image to taking it. Quite often, I've, you know, when I'm doing my videos, I've already found the composition, um, and then I set everything up, and then I go through the whole composition. So, but trying to do it, you know, as you're actually doing it is actually quite challenging, but fun nonetheless. And I hope it come across okay. That mist now is um, starting to lift which is, uh, I was hoping it's going to stick around for a bit longer actually, but um, 
that will give me plenty of opportunity to scout this woodland and see if I can find any other compositions that I can come back to. Pretty much all of the foliage is dropped now uh, here, which is a bit of a shame, but it's uh, looking absolutely amazing. So I'd just like to thank Keith who recommended me this spot. Uh, Keith attended a workshop back in the early part of the summer um, and yeah, it's local to me. So. Um, yeah, he said, have you checked this place out? And I hadn't, so I was really keen to give it a go. So yeah, thanks Keith. I'll leave your Instagram on the uh, on the screen there. Always nice to get a recommendation for a spot, especially one that's quite local, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna carry on looking around this lovely woodland, see what else I can find. That sun's coming up now, guys. It's actually forecast to be 100% cloud coverage this morning and fog until midday, but um, it's about nine o'clock now, and it's blue sky, and the fog is lifting. So you can never tell what's gonna happen here in the UK. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna carry on having a little look around and see what else I can find. A little while back when I said, I really think there's something special in this area, and I was gonna concentrate on this area. Well, I did notice an oak tree um, with another one sat behind it but it wasn't really a photographic opportunity at the time because the light was so bright coming through from the side the light was reflecting off all the bark and and, and the moss that's on the tree it's really mossy and there's still some autumn leaves on there too and there's a wonderful oak just sat behind it what i've tried to do is approach this from a bit of a different perspective i want to try to use the oak in the foreground to connect with the background oak. So I want to use some of those branches that I've got in the foreground to reach into the scene and try to connect the foreground with the background. Um, so it looks like these branches are reaching in and framing the scene. And they do form a natural framing, uh, which I think is quite nice. And the oak tree at the back there, uh, back there is lovely. It's got all these mossy branches on it. And it looks absolutely fantastic. It really does. So um, my, yeah, my initial thoughts are, yeah, the framing of this shot, the mist adding that separation and the, the lovely, lovely green bark we've got on these branches of these oak trees. So my composition, as you can see here, I've got these branches on the right hand side there and they kind of naturally frame the oak that we've got there in the background. And what I'm trying to do is let those two branches lead the eye towards that oak in the background. Now, obviously, from this position here, I've got quite a lot of sky in. So positioning the tripod high and then zooming in eliminates that sky, which up there is really distracting. So, you know, I'm gonna take that out completely just by using the telephoto lens and zooming in. And like I said, positioning my tripod high. Obviously the more zoomed in we go, the um, shallower depth of field will be as well. So uh, that's why I'm choosing F11, focusing on the branch there in the foreground. It's just given me enough sharpness between that and the um, oak tree there in the background. So yeah, I think all in all, I think that should work quite well. And actually, if the tree in the background, that oak, that wonderful oak in the background is slightly softer, I don't mind because we've got that mist and separation anyway. So I think, yeah, I think it's a decent shot. I think looks right on the back of the camera. Some lovely russet uh, colors here with this bracken all dying. So I'm going to uh, go ahead now grab this image while I can. There's a few snowflakes coming down guys actually, which is pretty cool. First snow of the year, that'd be brilliant. I know up north they've had some uh, amazing snowy conditions up there, but here, further south, things are a little bit warmer and we're still getting the last signs of autumn. So I'm sure winter will come. <laughs> right, focused on the branches. Two second timers on. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you fancy checking out the Photographer's Clubhouse, which is a community of like-minded people that share their ideas, inspire one another and create amazing photographs, please be sure to check out the link over here and down in the description. It would be amazing to see you over there. Anyway, guys, until next time, take care and I will see you soon.